Here's a problem that might seem a little bit more complicated. However, once we realize it, it's just another conversion problem. It's not so bad. Remember, dimensional analysis is just a fancy word for converting units of measurement. And in this problem, we have common units of measurement used in baking. So, whenever we have a problem where we're converting and use units of measurement, we want to do what I taught you to do, and that is to write what we're starting with, or what we're converting from, and then write out what we're converting to. Now what we're converting to is going to be our answer. It's what we end up with. In here, we can see that we're trying to convert to liters of vanilla extract. Now what we're starting with is where it's a little harder to find. So here is the actual question. How much vanilla ex extract in liters should the baker order, right? So that's where we're going to. To make 800 cakes. So here is where we're getting the unit of measurement we're starting with, and that is 800 cakes. So for every 800 cakes, how many liters of extract do we need? Now, I don't need to write the 800. It's just starting with cakes and we're going to extract. So here's where it's tricky. So we need to get from cakes to extract to liters. Cakes to liters. Now, it gives us a conversion factor over here. So we have teaspoons and milliliters, but we're left scratching our heads because that doesn't really help us much, right? Now, we know liters to milliliters, right? So we know for every one liter, we can get to 10 to the 3 milliliters. So that gets us between milliliters and liters, right? And then we can go between milliliters and teaspoons, so I guess if we can go in this direction, maybe that'll get us closer, right? Teaspoons, so for every one teaspoon, we have five milliliters, right? Well, now we need to get between teaspoons and cakes. How the heck do we do that? Well, it actually tells us in the problem a conversion factor, if we look very carefully. Here at the beginning it says, a baker uses 1.5 teaspoons of vanilla extract in each cake. Well, for every one cake, that means there's one and a half teaspoons. So, one cake equals 1.5 teaspoons. So there we have all the conversion factors we need to get to where we need to go. It looks like we need three. So this is a more complicated problem, but it's a multi-step dimensional analysis problem, just like the ones we did before, except we have three conversion factors. So how do we do this? Like we did all the multi-step problems we did before. We start out with the number we want to convert, which is 800 cakes. We ask ourselves, well, cakes is on the top. That means in order for it to cancel out, it must go on the bottom of our first conversion factor. We find the conversion factor we're looking for, which is here. So that means one cake goes on the bottom, and then one and a half teaspoons goes on the top. Now, we go to our next conversion factor. We know that teaspoons is on the top, and that means teaspoons must be on the bottom of our next conversion factor in order for it to cancel out. We've already used this conversion factor, so the next one with the teaspoons in it is this. So one teaspoon must go on the bottom, and milliliters must go on the top, 
which is 5. That one's now used up. Now we're left with milliliters needing to go on the bottom to cancel out, and liters going on top, which is the unit we want to end up with. 10 to the third goes on the bottom, 1 goes on the top. We now make sure everything cancels out properly. And we simplify our expression. I'm going to move it down here to give us more room. 800 times 1.5 times 5 liters. What goes on the bottom? Well, 10 to the third. Let's simplify that some more. Eight hundred times one and a half times five. That gives me six thousand liters, ten to the third. Simplify that more. That gives me 6,000 times 10 to the negative 3 liters. Remember, if I have a positive exponent and I move it, the, the whole thing up to the numerator, it turns the exponent negative. That's how we remember to do that. Okay? All right, now. If I want to simplify that into standard notation, because it looks like it doesn't want the answer in scientific notation, then I can say, all right, well, I'm at negative 3. I want to go make that a 0, 10 to the 0, right? I go larger. Which means I move my decimal to the left and it's three places I need to do that. One, two, and three. And we are ending up with six liters.